Hey guys, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another Jurassic video. Today we'll be comparing three Legacy Collection uh, Lost World sets and seeing which one is the best and what makes the set good. So we'll start off with the latest one, the with the Bull T-Rex. Um, the best part of this set, in my opinion, is the Lost World Ian Malcolm figure. Uh, this one has the most detail in the face and the clothing and a really great paint and sculpt. Uh, the vehicle, of course, to me, is the second best in the set compared to um, this in-gen vehicle here. Um, it doesn't really have a lot of additional play features um, in terms of, like, things that fire or damage. Um, it does have this little bubble top to stick the figures in and a removable um, back to it. The front door is also open, um, but besides that... There's not really any more action features to this vehicle. It doesn't come with a winch like we saw in um, previous Jeeps. Um, and there's no additional kind of damage that you can do to it with a dinosaur figure. But potentially in the future, you may see one. Um, and because of that, um, this is the second best part of the set. It could be the first, but um, in comparison to the rest of the figures, I really like Ian. Um, and the Rex, of course, being sadly the worst part of the set as it features a um really terrible paint job um where the coloration those little lines do not continue on the neck nor does that darker shade and it doesn't continue down the body at all it just kind of stops at around the arms so it makes the figure look unfinished um it is the basic um t-rex body retool with a new head and neck portion to have that little um, flap hanging down on the neck but unfortunately it definitely uh could have been better but is the worst part of the set um next we'll move on to the sarah set this one comes with uh, stegosaurus and baby the best part of this set is the baby stegosaurus it has the most um detail in terms of like sculpt and some really great paint it is probably the most accurate or at least screen accurate uh baby stegosaurus we have in the lineup not even the hammond collection one fits the bill there's just some things off with it but the proportions are really nice uh the neck tail ratio looks natural um i really like the head size too and of course the legs are scaled to also look nice with the body they're pretty chunky and everything um looks way better than the uh, hammond collection one which uh has some really small proportions in comparison to the body um the neck has posability you can rotate it around it's on a ball joint they even painted the bottom of the neck which is fantastic they didn't need to go that extra mile um the beak too is painted they usually don't do that on small dinosaurs and i love the eyes they're just black with a little dot in there um and they even painted the um the the plates on the back except for these little two but they got the tail which is also something they don't usually do so this is a great little figure and um perfect best part of the set um second best part of course is sarah has um full paint detail you can see little um necklace or something going on in there painted the shirts painted um, belt buckle and everything and some great details with the outfit as well and of course this set also comes with a little um, camera which is a nice nod to not only the movie but the original uh, Kenner figure from 1997 um, I thought that was pretty cool and then the part that's lacking in this set is the stegosaurus which is a retool of the Jurassic World stegosaurus so it doesn't look like the Lost World one the tail droops and the paint job is kind of lacking. They have kind of like a brown on the top. So all the plates are brown and then there's a bit of brown um, kind of on the skin there. And then some green over top of that. And then some more uh, darker brown and some lighter airbrushed there of a beige. Um, it would have been great if this figure was all dark green instead with a few of the details like the, the browns and whatnot used on top of that. But um, it's nice that we do have the beak painted, um, another thing we don't usually get with Stegos now. But um, unfortunately, because of the retooled sculpt, it doesn't really scream Lost World. Um, and unfortunately, the paint job also isn't too accurate, so um, it's definitely weighing the set down a lot. The next uh, set we have is the um, 
Roland Tembo set with the Paris Relifice and the InGen hunting vehicle. The best part of this set is the vehicle itself. I love the action features that it comes with. There's a little button on the side that makes the um, side door slide out and you can easily push it back in. And the chair comes out with it as well as a little um, monitor. You got a little screen there with um, the Paris and some other funky little uh, details. And there's also handlebars on that and a sidebar to grab onto. And you can see the inside is fully detailed. It's got the steering wheel, the control panels, and all sorts of, like, the seats too can fit two or three figures back there. We even have these slots for the missiles that go into that um, side sliding area. Got a nice gas tank on the back and engine logos all over, some military-esque type um, screws all over the sides. And of course, the engine logos aren't stickers. They're actually um painted on which is really awesome got an extra tire that spins and um the missile of course fires once it's out you can press that button and shoot the para i'll actually shoot one of the characters with it um and it shoots very far it's got a got a good spring in there and then you can just take the extra missile and shove it in there so it's not like it just comes with one and done. It has storage and everything. They, they really thought out this vehicle. So it's not just a collector's item and a really nice piece, screen accurate, but it also is a very fun toy with um, lots of playability features inside baked in. So that's really nice. And uh, it makes it the best part of the set by far. Um, then the second best part I'd say is the baby Parasaurolophus. Um, this one is styled kind of like a, um, a baby deer almost. It has those dark splotches on the back, some browns. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw a few threads online talking about how um, there were baby Parasaurolophus in the Lost World chase scene in certain se um, sequences and uh, this uh, was the coloration that they were, and it actually suits it well. Um, most uh, baby animals, I guess, definitely uh, uh, herbivores, have a type of coloration that would help them blend in with the surrounding environment so uh, they wouldn't be spotted by predators. So it makes sense that this little guy would be this color anyways. Um, it has some really nice paint on the crest as well, some browns. Um, and then the stripes are darker brown and then a kind of lighter brown um, across the top all the way to the front. Um, it would have been cool if the eyes were black like the baby um, Stegosaurus, but uh, nonetheless, this is a really great figure and it's cool we uh, get it in a smaller scale. And then uh, the next figure, I'm not saying it's the worst, like the last two had some really bad figures uh, like the Rex and Stego, but um, Roland Tembo just falls in last in this set because I prefer the Par Paris Rolifus, uh figure as um, cooler, um, but he's really cool too. He's got his little hunting vest on um, and he's got a white shirt underneath, some great details on the face as well. Um, and uh, yeah, he really fits the bill. I just wish he came with an accessory like a gun um, or something else, but uh, it's really made up for in the action features of the vehicle. Um, and I'm so excited to see more in-gen vehicles like this one. The Hunvee is um, top of my list, so hopefully that comes out soon. But right now we just have two of these. The one that just came out uh, with the Raptors and Compi, and then this one. So I'll definitely pick that one up and do another video comparing them all. But uh, please let me know down in the comments which of these sets is your favorite and why. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.